Hi, my name is Josh Carter. And I'm Jessica Dupont. It's Friday, October 19th, and here's your Catskill News. Congratulations on your sectional success. How far did you get in the tournament? I went to the second round. I won my first round with a tiebreaker, so it was 10-10, and then I won the tiebreaker 7-5. Wow, that's yeah. good. Yeah. <laughs> Great job, ladies. The Halloween dance is tonight, and it will be held in the CHS courtyard. It's going to be a fun night. Miss Diedrich has some awesome surprise planned, and the DJ exclusive will unveil their new DJ console. Hope to see everyone there. Catskill High School will host the first annual Halloween dance this coming Friday, October 19th, and it will be held in the high school courtyard. The dance will run 7 to 10.30 and will feature the amazing DJ exclusive. Come dress to impress in your favorite Halloween costume. This will be a night to remember the Catskill High School Halloween dance on Friday, October 19th. Dress spooky! Mrs. Marino's fashion students are upcycling jeans and vintage clothing for this year's fashion show on Friday, November 2nd. The students will model them at the Catskill Couture's fashion show. Tickets for the fashion show are available from an SCCLA or Business Club member. Save the date. The CES PTA will be holding its annual trick-or-treat night on Friday, October 26th, starting at 6 p.m. If Halloween is your thing and you would like to dress up and help out, or if you're a student who needs community service hours, please contact Ms. McAleen in the CES. Volunteer hours are from 5.45 to 7.45. Our Leadership Green Club attended the Sleepy Hollow Candidate Forum this past weekend and met many of our state candidates for office and were able to hear their platform speeches. Here's Isabella with the report. Hey guys, it's me, Joanna, reporting to you, people, on the latest Green County Deeds. We are here at the candidate meeting in Sleepy Hollow Lake where we meet the candidates. I'm going to bring you the juiciest details, the nicest policies, and the best co-stars, i.e. Bella Seely. Come on now, our camera woman for the night. That's all we got for you. Hope you enjoy the show. My name is Joanna Vince Like, and I'm a senior at Catskill High School. I'm here with Antonio Delgado, who is running to be our congressman. And I'd like to ask you, as a senior, I'm pretty concerned about the price of college, and it's very intimidating. So I'd like to know what your ideas and plans are on that issue. Yes, uh, that is an issue that I hear quite a bit um, from young people. One of the things that's happened uh, with the way we loan or empower young people to go to colleges, it's been privatized too much. And so the profit motive um, is dictating uh, the way the lending is happening. So for example, when I was going to college, uh, the interest rates were 2 3% at most, and they were tied to the treasury rate. Now the interest rates are at 6 7 8% because they've been privatized. Similarly, you would be charged, you would not be charged interest while you're in college. Now you are charged interest while you're in college. So there's been things that have been happening uh, that have moved away from us prioritizing young people getting a good education. Rather than doing that, we're focusing on how we make money all for young kids trying to get an education. And I would be somebody out there really promoting, shifting it back to the way it was and fighting for real lending practices that were fair to young students. Loan forgiveness is also very important and making sure we fund programs like the Pell Grant program would also be critical. The last budget was just passed. $200 billion was cut from the last budget and a lot of that money was cut from Pell Grant. So we could put more money back there. And I'm here with our Congressman John Faso. So I have one question. And as a senior in high school, it can be very intimidating looking at the price of colleges, both private and public. So I'd like to know how you plan to improve that or any ideas that you have on that issue. Well, one of the things that is uh, really of concern is the cost of higher education and the amount of debt that students are taking on. Um, I think that uh, there's a real impetus now to have colleges be more forthright with students and parents as to the cost of higher education, what interest costs will be. In other words, you borrow, say, $25,000, $30,000, $40,000 over a four-year period. How soon can you repay that back? And is, does the degree that you're prospectively looking to get in that at that high institution of higher learning, does that degree offer you the promise of getting a job that you can pay that loan back? And um, so I think we have to be able to 
uh, be more transparent with students and parents as to the true cost and what the consequences are. And I'm here with Scott Leggio, who goes to Kusaki Athens High School. And I'd like to ask you, why do you think it's important that the youth get come out and get involved in these things, especially yourself? Well, I think inaction is the greatest, inaction is the greatest consequence. And if we don't act, we can't complain that, oh, they don't represent us when actually they do. You just didn't speak up. So when you're active and you're informed, you can say you help society. And you don't feel guilty for if somebody you don't agree with gets elected. It's just like you're to blame. And also go vote for Josh Litzman for Green County Coroner. <laughs>
Uh, okay. The dances tonight, don't forget, everyone be there. I won't be there, sadly, but hopefully you all go. Um, nice school event, you know. Um, and that's it for the rest of the week. Okay, I'll see you guys next week. Thanks, Lexi and Anna Maria. Here's Zach and Hunter with a sports report. Hi, I'm Chris Hogan with your weekly Catskill Sports Report. <laughs> Great job to the soccer teams that played over the past few days, especially to the girls' varsity soccer team, who won their second Patroon Conference title in a row. Also, our tennis team, led by senior Jessica DuPont, dominated sectional play. Great job, Cats. Now on to this week's sports schedule. <laughs> Tuesday, the boys and girls modified soccer teams host the Conic Hills. Also, cross country traveled to Maple Hill. Wednesday, the boys and girls modified soccer teams hosted Cairo. Friday, the boys and girls modified soccer teams traveled to the Conic Hills. It's sad that the fall sports are ending, but that means that winter sports are fast approaching. Let's end the fall strong, cats. This has been Chris Hogan with your weekly cat sports report. Now back to the desk. Nice work, guys. What did the little corn say to the mama corn? <laughs> Where's popcorn? <laughs> so stupid. <laughs> that one was even stupid, and it's my joke. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Cats, cats can and cats, cats will. will.